All right, guys, how you doing? Ryan also known as Mr. Apato 21 here. I'm gonna give y'all a review of the uh, iHome I here, one of the mini iHomes. I'll put a link up in the description. I don't remember the exact name of it, but the title will have the correct name. Um, I got this from uh, uh, Apple.com uh, for Christmas. Um, I believe they do sell them at retail stores as well, but I, I saw this originally advertised on Apple.com. Uh, on their website, I believe this is $90. Um, it's, an al it's an alarm clock slash uh, iPod docking station that has a big old speaker right here. So we're going to go ahead and get into the review of it. Um, see my iPod right here. Um, but if y'all see me bring the fan in, that's because uh, one time uh, my iHome was on here and I accidentally knocked it over. So this is messed up a little bit. So that's why I'm going to have to have the fan on in play here. Okay, so you open up the, uh, the box and you'll see uh, the iHome with an adapter that connects in the back. Um, and you'll also receive a remote for playing your music. Uh, I believe the shuffle and the replay and snooze. Snooze is uh, the clock portion of it. All the other stuff. So let's see what's actually on here. Here's the time. It's not actually correct. Um, power went out, so I know we're going to back to actually resetting the time. This is something, I, I don't think this ever changes. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but um, I believe that's the iPod battery, but it never really works. I've never really seen it work. Um, right here is a PM logo um, for PM. And here is an iPod logo, an iPod, uh, I believe that's a uh, iPod Touch logo, so when you plug it in, that will come on, and it'll say iPod across the screen. Up here you have the alarm reset slash power button, uh, the alarm hour and minute button for alarm time and regular time, play the iPod, volume up, I mean volume down, volume up. Here you see the snooze but or sleep button, snooze and dimmer button, which just kind of dims out the screen, and the place where you can dock your iPod. Also, you receive in a box a couple of um, those things that uh, they're like this big. They come with your iPod and they're like white, and uh, make sure that your your device specifically fits in here perfectly. Uh, I don't have any of those, and I forgot what the name of them are. All right, on the back, um, here's the DC 10 volt um, power adapter, auxiliary in, expanded bass sound. Oh, I want that on. That's turned on. Um, the DST uh, and the clock adjustment. Here, I believe. Uh, there's batteries. I'm not. Qu I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe that's what this logo is. Uh, how much you can go wirelessly. Um. So yeah, I mean, and the volume goes up pretty high. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like uh, when you connect it to your iPod. I'll probably pause the video. I'll probably come back to. I have, I have to do this because, like I said one time, I knocked over the iHome and it uh, didn't work. But yours should work just like this. You should just be able to put yours in. If, uh, But mine does not work because I accidentally, like I said, I accidentally knocked it over and I messed it up. So I'm going to have to push the phone up against it. Pretty far, actually. There it goes. Alright, so. Maybe not. 
Alright, there we go. So it's connecting and it's charging. Uh, it does charge the device as well when you're playing music. Um, as you see, iPod comes on and starts playing music. And it'll slowly fade in the volume from like when you had it set on last time. Uh, so we're going to test out uh, the volume here. The volume ranges from zero and then it goes all the way up to 40. And I'm going to prove to you guys this thing it can get seriously loud. I'm going to go all the way out to basically my kitchen, which is right here. And you can still hear it pretty well. Uh, I can basically hear it from all the way across the house. That's my parents' room. Um, so, yeah, I could basically... Uh, hear that music all the way from across the house. I'm pretty sure you can hear it outside if you're outside my window. Um, Alright, so, pause the music. By the way, if you want to know what that song was, Jules Santana, um, make it work for you. Alright, anyway, um, as you see, if you have if you have on um, the bass booster on on your iPod like I do, and the bass volume here doesn't really sound that great. Sometimes it annoys me. Sometimes you have to disconnect it. Connect it back in. You have to make sure iPod's on. And that bass is pretty sick. Sound quality is really good, and this remote does pretty well um I sit on my desk which is right over there it's like my basic workstation I'm on there all day YouTube videos and all that I can stand from here and I can control it um obviously if you press the buttons harder they wear out quicker and you have to actually get up to it um I believe if like this is turned let's say it's turned towards the wall this part of it is turned towards the wall and I'm over there um, it's gonna be kind of hard to reach it. You gotta make sure you, you gotta make sure you can at least see the front of it. Um, and it's kind of somewhat towards you. But anyway, um, this has got pretty good range. They give you a battery for the remote. It's one of those like weird looking ones like that. Um, they give you a battery for it, and this thing can run wirelessly. I think that's what this is. And, um, so yeah, I like this. This is going to cost you $90, though, but you get, um, oh, by the way, and you can turn it landscape mode as well. Uh, and you have to place a little, they give you a little thing to place right here to make sure that it doesn't fall over like that. I lost it already. Um, so you can watch movies like that. Um, and landscape. Overall, I give this about... Uh, 9 out of 10, uh, 4 out of 5 stars, 9 out of 10 rating. Um, one thing that they probably could improve on was, um, the time. It kind of, it gets kind of complicated resetting the time. And it takes a while, because you can't just, I don't, I believe you can't really hold down the minute button without going it too fast. You either got to do it manually or you get to hold it down and then it goes really fast so um... they could have worked on that but that doesn't affect music the music is great um... i really like the remote as well it's very small and it's got far distance and the music gets up loud and it's got good bass so yeah thank you guys for watching please come around and subscribe and i hope i helped you out 
buying yourself an iHome here and a speaker for your iPod or iPhone. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm out.